food trucks, artisan vendors, community groups, local businesses. It's just a, it's just a great time. It's super special. I've been going to them as long as I can remember. So they're a pretty cool part of the community. This tells you everything right now. It's, you know, pushing 100 degrees. People are out here. Celebrating the, the great weather and, and all the different vendors that make our community as thriving as it is. We've got street vendors, local artisans, musicians, DJs. I think it's about small business and it's about community. This is what a Fourth Friday celebration looks like in Westerville, Ohio, my home for the summer. It's a once a month street party held six times during the warmest months from May through October. Let's have a look. This was the Fourth Friday event held in late July. The entire town comes together with Uptown Westerville taking the lead. I'm Chris Thompson. I work for Uptown Westerville Inc. as the events director. Tonight is Fourth Friday, so this is one of the oldest events in Westerville. We close the street down all the way down at Home Street, down to Plum Street, basically a giant street fair. We have usually about a little bit over 100 vendors, about 10 food we'll trucks, so uh, a lot to take in here. <laughs> the party covers four blocks along the main street in Westerville and spills off onto some of the side streets as well. There are enough musical performers scattered through the area that you'll always have something filling your ears. <laughs> Food and beverage is a huge part of each Fourth Friday event. You can find whatever you want at places such as the Tortilla Street Food Truck. Uh, the best uh, meal like uh, nachos with uh, like a uh, barbacoa, the best meat I have with a uh, queso sauce on top. And uh, the people like, like mayo spicy, make it special for the customer. There are some places which will offer you a taste before you buy anything. Free cookie samples, just for you. Something Sweet Bake Shop was enticing attendees by offering samples of their cookies. Should I get try some? There were a lot of takers. Something Sweet Bake Shop, they're pretty tasty. I love them. Most of the places serving food were busy throughout the evening, as seemingly everyone who came to Fourth Friday made it their dinner stop as well. Oxby's, a local chicken wing joint, was no exception. We opened up April of 2020, and we currently have six locations, including one here in Westerville. We've actually really invested in this type of concept because of the Fourth Fridays. We knew a couple other businesses that participate this throughout the year, and we knew that it was something we wanted to be part of the community. Yeah, any time that we can be part of the community, Westerville's been that type of community you want to be part of. Of course, with food, there is the need for something to drink. Fatty Beer Company just set up outside its front door to cater to the crowd. Hopefully it's a good pour. It's a big thing for Westerville. Uh, they've welcomed us into the community. Uh, we're just about a year old, and. We're here to offer some liquid refreshments, cool everybody down on a hot 90 degree day like this. So uh, we live for these Fourth Fridays. Java Central was also offering beverages. Like Fatty Beer Company, it benefits from having people congregate outside of its physical location during each Fourth Friday. It happens for six months out of the year on every Fourth Friday of the month. And it's just kind of like a fun Westerville festival. Yeah, they are coming right to our front door and I guess people come from all over. So it's a little bit of a different crowd that's fun to have. All of the vendors at this event get to meet existing customers and cultivate new ones. And it gets to showcase the Uptown merchants, different local vendors, you know, come down and have a good time. Uptown Westerville's goal is to be a benefit for its members and for this part of town. It appears Fourth Friday succeed in that regard. It's a free event, so if you want to come down here and spend no money and just walk around, you can. If you want to come down here and have something to eat, but we usually see about over uh, 20,000 people come down for this event on Friday. We put a lot of work and effort into making sure that this is this remains an, an active community area. There are several areas within the festival that concentrate special interests in a single location. For example, there's an area for the arts, complete with entertainment and artists. I was driving by His Majesty's Court this spot is coordinated by the Arts Council of Westerville. 
Um, it is a group that is uh, supporting of all artists, so we um, like to support anyone from the musical um, background to actual artists. We really just want to bring and keep the arts alive, and our ultimate goal right now is to get a cultural arts center built. We also do this to support our local artists, so we host 14 local artists. One of those artists was Malia Cochran, who had her paintings on display. That's where I started with my art. So I've been coming here for about, this is the fifth year? For Malia, Westerville and the Fourth Friday events are perfect. Oh, it means everything. I love Westerville. It's great. It's a great community here, and I get to share my passion with people. Just this little corner of the festival says a lot about the arts community in Westerville. We are getting bigger and bigger every year, um, but we hope to make a bigger footprint in getting that cultural arts center built. Everything from the art to the music. To the food, to the vendors, to other performers of all kinds. Manufacture is a cooperative synergy that creates something special. It just brings everybody together. This is community space. Uh, it's just something that's just gratifying to know that the public enjoys it. Many say that these Fourth Friday events accurately show what Westerville is all about. People want to come out, people want to be entertained, uh, people want to just be able to not be cooped up inside. It showcases the talent, the people, the, the love. It is great, yes, we love it here. Six times each year during the warmer months, the streets of Westerville are transformed. It sounds like if you don't have fun, it's your own fault. It's, <laughs> exactly. There is something for everybody here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this brief look at July's 4th Friday celebration. Three more of these to go, August, September, and October. That last one will be big, coming four days before Halloween. See you next time on Old, Alone, and Far From Home. Yeah.